Most of us know what it's like to have our cell phone battery go dead in the middle of a conversation, or have ended up working from a coffee shop without enough outlets to charge our computer. Soon, those will be problems of days of yore. That's according to Dr. Zong Lin Wang, an engineer at the Georgia Institute of Technology in Atlanta. Dr. Wang has created a minuscule device that produces electricity using common everyday motions, such as the tapping of typing, the sliding of a wheel, or the flow of air and water. This is green, cheap, easy to fabricate, it can be scaled. This use all the materials in our daily life. We can use this charged cell phone battery, mm -hmm. MP3 player, and uh, I hope this one use a sharp laptop in the near future. Here's how it works. When two different types of plastic rub against each other, they become electrically charged. This happens because one tends to donate electrons while the other receives them. This type of contact electrification, known as the triboelectric effect, automatically separates the plastics, creating an air gap and an electric potential. When a wire is placed between the two surfaces, it conducts the power. When Dr. Wang and his fellow researchers began working on these nanogenerators about five years ago, they were only able to produce enough electricity to light up a few LED lights, about five volts. Where you go? You go? There you go. <laughs> so it works, right? It works. This amount has grown to 600 volts as Dr. Wang and his team find creative ways to stack and enlarge the device in his lab at Georgia Tech. That's enough energy to charge a cell phone. So this one is a um, trouble electric nano generator for fluid mode. And this one is trouble electric generator that works in sliding mode. And this one is another trouble electric gen nano generator that works in contact mode. Recharging phones, laptops, and tablets is only a small slice of Dr. Wang's vision. He hopes someday that the little device's large potential will be realized by providing electricity during disasters, capturing wave energy, and producing off-grid electricity in buildings. Not only power small electrons, but also power can be power larger scales. If one day this is possible, that will be my dream. When I blow this with my breath, that means the wind at Atlanta can drive this. We don't need the wind near the coastal area, which have some magnitude to drive it. So this can for wind energy harvesting. And also we developed this one now to a technology for harvesting ocean waves. On the east-west coast of the United States, according to theoretical calculation, the amount of ocean wave energy we can harvest is 31 terawatt. How much 31 terawatt is, the, is twice the total energy the world needs today, the whole world, twice.